more days. This is the original picture. By the way, the picture is still in Getty Images website. I acquired the rights uh, to the picture just to inspect it in detail. And yes, there are two pictures that are really, really similar to this. But well, taking a look at this, you can see that this was taken from far, far away. How, how far away? We're going to study that right now. This is the page where you can be on um, Getty Images, the original picture. It can't be photoshopped. It can't be modified because you cannot you can't uh, sell uh, editorial pictures, uh, editorial uh, modified pictures because you can get into real trouble. This is picture number one two four three two zero nine three six five. In case you want to check on Getty Images uh, website, it was taken by well this um, organization WPA Pool and. Uh, this, uh, this, I, I think this is part of the confusion. You can see the, in this case, the, um, the screen divided in two. On the left, uh, the one that is here, right beside me, you can see a picture that has a better uh, quality. That's because because I have the the high resolution one, okay, where you can see the harkles behind King Charles, and the other in, on the other side of the screen, this is the other version, which is uh, Charles in the exact same position almost in the exact same position with his hands uh, in front of him, but the Harkles have already uh, left the, uh, the, the scene, so to speak. So there are two pictures, okay? There are two pictures that are very much alike, but you can see that King Charles is different in both of them. What we can see, and it's going to be important later, is that we thought at first, that, that that's why important to go for the high resolution picture to see every detail we thought that it was charles walking down the stairs and the harkos right behind him and no charles was not walking in both pictures he is standing both his feet are uh side by side on one of the steps okay so he was not walking down he was just standing there okay that that's important that will be important later on why was this picture so difficult to take? What makes this picture so special? Well, uh, that window that we see, this window, okay, you see that it's a window, and behind the window, there's the Harkles and King Charles. That window is inside Buckingham Palace's center courtyard. Uh, I think the, it's called the quadrangle or something. Were there photographers allowed last night? Wasn't it supposed to be private? Yeah, this, the, the problem, the issue with this picture is that this was supposed to be a private gathering, okay? No photographers, no, no, nothing, okay? No press, nothing, okay? Only the family and, and the close members of the family, and that's it. So many people are saying that uh, you should just take this down. Uh, I think Scobie uh, took that uh, picture down. I think the Daily Mail deleted it, but still on Getty Images website, uh, it's commercially available. So I got it. If you don't like it, well, uh, you're gonna like it. You, you're gonna like my explanation about why am I doing this. But well, we have the difficulty to take that picture from which distance? It, is, it was on the the, the, the center courtyard. Uh, you can see in this picture how difficult it would be uh, from the street because we have uh, this, okay? Here is that, uh, that center, that main window, okay? A, 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 a floor to ceiling window. We have this tunnel. This is the tunnel of the main building, the main entrance to Buckingham Palace. And then we have the gates to the streets, uh, right here in the lower right corner. We are all that, okay? The entire distance, the entire distance of, uh, to take the picture, must have been 150 meters or 500 feet, okay? Just so, so you can have an idea, because the, uh, the photographers had to be at the Victoria Memorial, which is in front of the gates of Buckingham Palace. We have here, here, uh, there was the royal family here inside this part of Buckingham Palace. Here is the tunnel of the main gate, uh, the main entrance, the main building. Here we got the gates of Buckingham Palace, and here, th this 
this road was clear. Police had this road clear and photographers had to stand stand at this place in Victoria Victoria Memorial, the Victoria Memorial. So it was the complete distance is 150 meters or 500 feet. It's 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 quite a lot, okay? You need to have a good uh, a telephoto lens and you have a, a nice tripod to to be uh, to be steady and especially if you're waiting for something to happen and especially what was what was happening it's it's strange it's uh, relevant to say that why this person that do, took this picture he took only only two just two pictures and one of them has the harkles prominently prominently behind King Charles. Why, why didn't they took, why didn't he took, uh, um, I think I, I, I forgot his name, but why didn't he took a photo of, of uh, the Prince and Princess of Wales or Princess Anne or when Camilla was around? No, nothing. The two, the two only pictures of this series are these two that you're, you're watching right now. Did she call the pub? I don't know. I'm, re I'm reading your comments at the same time. Thanks to Gin and Coffee that pitched me this. If you want to pitch me any information, you can have a Twitter and an Instagram. You can find my Twitter and my Instagram in the uh, text uh, rolling uh, at the bottom of the screen. Gin and Coffee, 40 winks away, have through. Maybe you want to take a look at another picture from the same photographer. For example, this one. You can see the entrance of which he took the close-ups. If one stood at the right place in front of the palace, it was easily accessible for the cameras. Well, easily is, uh, uh, is, uh, is a difficult word because here you can see this is the, the same picture. Uh, no, these are two pictures to, so you can have an idea of the distance okay, to take the picture that we're talking about. This, you can see here, uh, someone at Victoria's Memorial taking a picture of the gates of Buckingham, you can see here the tunnel, and at the far end, and at the far end here, really little, is that window that we're talking about. Here's a, a, a better close-up. Here you have the tunnel of the main building, or, or the entrance building of Buckingham Palace, and at the far end you can see that, that window, and there, there's a zoom here, and you can barely make out the figure. So, they needed a very good camera, a, a spectacularly good camera, because the longer the lenses, the longer the lenses, um, the less light comes in. Okay, that's a, I'm not a professional photographer. Okay, I've forgotten most of my <laughs> photography background, but I think that's it's that way. No? The the longer the telephoto lens, the less light, so it's more difficult to take that. It's, it's harder to take that picture, okay? So you can imagine from this di distance, and there's another picture here. There's another picture. There's, uh, it's like you were standing on Victoria's Memorial. You can see the gates prominently in here, the gates of Buckingham Palace, okay? Let me see, I'm, I'm not updating the, uh, the comments. Okay, if you if you have experience with telephoto lens, I would like to uh, no, it's not a drone. Uh, a, a drone doesn't have a, a strong enough camera to to do that. It was taken from the street, the gates, uh, the tunnel, the entrance, at the far end. You can barely make out the uh, the uh, the window at 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 the far end. I'm gonna go back to this. So you tell me, what can we? What can we tell about this? It's obvious that the person that took this picture had to wait for the right moment. You can, you can tell that, well, it, it has to be with a tripod, with a heavy tripod, because the, uh, a big lens, you have a, a, a big telephoto lens that weighs a lot. The camera weighs a lot too. And um, Especially if you are going to take a picture from so far away, like 500 feet, you need a very steady uh, pulse, like like not moving your hands, okay? So it has to be a tripod. So the person had all the equipment to be uh, waiting for, well, a lot of time. But, uh, 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 every, 
every uh, minute or every hour that was needed until they got the relevant pictures. Now, my question is, if they had the equipment to wait for hours, okay, or maybe one hour, let's say that they waited for one hour in there, just in one place, it, it had to be a tripod. It's not like you're going to be moving from side to side, okay? You put your tripod, you put your camera, and you go, uh, just wait. Why did you take only two pictures? Why didn't you take, I don't know, more pictures of uh, when there was Camilla in there? Or it was uh, the Prince and Princess of Wales. If you were waiting half an hour, something else must have happened at that point. Why didn't that person take more pictures? And why? There are only two pictures of this angle, and one of them is the, Har is the Harkles in perfect. You can see, this is a perfect frame of the Harkles behind King, King Charles. Coincidences. There, this, is, this is too much of a coincidence. This is too much of a coincidence. No, it is not. For those of you that are claiming that it's fake, it's, it is not fake. It is on Getty Images website. It's an editorial picture. Uh, editorial pictures cannot be modified in any way because uh, you, you, are, uh, you are capturing a picture of an event. Okay, If you modify them and they find out, you will get banned for life. Uh, okay, and I actually went to get the images and got the rights for this picture just to uh, analyze uh, uh, really close to it. So and so I could present you with the highest possible resolution on this. And uh, too much of a coincidence. This person must have waited, must have waited uh, at least one hour, and must have had the opportunity to take more pictures than this. And these were the only two that he published. Meghan, Harry, and the King. You tell me if that is not suspicious. By the way, there's not uh, there's just many things going on with uh, the, the media lately. It's not only these photographers. And this photo that, of course, is an invasion. It's actually an invasion of privacy. I'm going to go for this. This, this is the best uh, angle, so to speak. This is an invasion of privacy. I agree with that. I am, well, <laughs> I know that most of you are not going to be happy with me uh, showing you these pictures, okay? But, well, I think it was, I think uh, I, I had to take this risk just like Lady C took her risk when she announced uh, the passing of the Queen earlier than anyone else. Uh, I didn't agree with her. But, well, maybe she doesn't agree with me in this, at this moment. Well, I, I don't know. I just want you to think for a minute. If you don't find this strange, suspicious, at least. Okay? 